This video will demonstrate how to score a live game with TurboStat's new evolution for basketball. Click create a new team to create your team. Put the year of the season in the file name. At the top type in the team name and an abbreviation. Add players here. Hit the add player button. Type in the player uniform number, the name, if you have any other information, you can put that here. If you have a photo, click on the Photos tab and double click the photo and just select the picture file you want to use. Press Save Player and then Add Player to repeat. Let me finish entering the rest of the roster real quickly. Okay, after you finish entering all your players, add one more player called Team with capital letters T E A M. That'll be for your team rebounds. You could also put the logo of your team for the player photo in this one. Click on the Games button at the top or at the bottom here to enter the game form. This is our game form where all your games are going to be scored. If you click on any team in the list here, you'll see the lineup for each game. You can select a player and see their shot charts, make any edits to a game. When you're ready to create a new game, just simply click the Add Game button down here. Click on the Teams box and choose Browse to pick a team that you've already created on your computer. Let me pick a team. If you haven't created a team yet, you could just type it in at this box and we'll make one for you automatically. You could pick whether it's a home or away game and put another game uh, notes here and box score information. If you have a highlight video, you could type that in here. Just hit the live button at the top or a live score at the bottom to start scoring a live game. It'll make a new game automatically for the opponent. Now you're in the live, sc live screen. We could maximize the screen by dragging it and making it wider. Most people like to scale it up, so you can click the scale button over here in the corner and then just drag the program here and make it bigger or click the maximum button in the top corner here. That'll maximize it as well. Before you start scoring, you want to go into the preferences. Make sure that the minutes per period are set right, the number of periods per game. If you have to change any of those, you want to click the reset clock to set it up again. Click how many players are in the game. We have this for three on three basketball or two on two, four on four. You can set up any number if you want. If it's three on three rules, there's some options here for three on three games. If you click on display, you can set what kind of three point line you have, college or, or high school. Other options, if you would want to track uncontested shots, you could have this option turned on. We'll show you how that works. Auto complete, if you want to keep track of assists for both teams. You get a prompt, you could have that checked, you could set these other prompts off uh, that you don't need. When you're ready to score the game, just simply drag the players into the game from the lineup here. If you double click, it will go right into the lineup position that's open next. Okay, you have two options. You could view the rebounds for the game or you could view the players Profile pictures, if you have them, just double click on the player in the top left corner to toggle between those. Now we're ready to start scoring. Start the clock. Okay, and now the clock's running. You could pick who had the first possession by clapping the arrow on the scoreboard. And now you can enter the scoring shots multiple ways. The first way is to tap anywhere on the floor that automatically tags miss. Type the player's number and you'll be prompted for a rebound. If it's a made basket, you could either type the number first in a location on the floor and then made or missed. If there's an assist, you could tap the player who got the assist. If you tap the floor first, notice that miss is highlighted first. So if you want to use this feature, make sure you hit made, then the uniform number if you want to use that feature for made baskets. If there's no assist, tap the assist by box and it will go away. Or you can click unassisted and then tap the location on the floor and then the player's number and you won't get the prompt. If there's a steal and a turnover, click on steal first. The player who got the steal, you'll be prompted for turnover. If there's a charge and an offensive foul, click take charge at the top here. Select the player who took the charge. Select the player who made the offensive foul. If there is a foul with shots, you click on foul, click on the player who has the foul. Click on the free throw box and set the number of free throws for this particular foul. If it's a one and one, you can click that over here. Now, as you click on the players and you click made or missed, 
Okay, it'll cycle through the free throws on the last free throw attempt. If it's a missed basket, it'll automatically prompt you for a rebound and start the clock again for you. If you have any substitutions, um, what you do is simply cl click on the subs at the scorers table. This is the best way to sub. Now you see the players coming in as you're scoring. You could be scoring the shots. The game's going on. You see players at the scorers table. When you have a minute, you can highlight them. Okay, now you get a stop in the action for a foul. Okay, now players are coming in. You just simply swipe the players who are coming out of the game. And you see the players at the top that you checked will fill in that location. You could also type uh, the turbo stats button at the top here and just do a one for one sub. This is really quick. If you know two is coming in for 21, 45 is going in for 10, 15 is going in for 25. It's real quick, real easy. You could also drag players up and drop them also in to sub them. If you have to make any edits, you could undo your last events, even the substitutions. Or you could hit the edit button at the top here, the event button, highlight any event if you want to switch a shot or an assist, and go in here and hit edit event, pick the player you want to give that event to, and just hit save. It's really that easy. Hit large chart to get back in. If there's any team timeouts, select full or 60, and then click on the T on either side to enter a team timeout. If there's a team uh, offense uh, rebound, click on a missed shot. The rebound, just click the T and the team, it'll be a team rebound. If you have any lineup changes, some players who weren't on the original card, you could hit lineups here. You could type in the uniform number and the name and hit save, or just the uniform number and hit save, and it'll add a player in front of that, player 14, say. And it's really quick to add these while the game's going on. It's a great feature. If you want to make a box score, click the box score tab at the top here. You could highlight this inf information, and copy and paste it into an email. You could hit play by play to add a play by play to the bottom of the box score. We have an, even have a beautiful professional box score. If you click on the post online and hit the box web and the pro series are higher, you'll be able to produce a really professional uh, sports page type play-by-play uh, -play -play with photos, team summary, and individual player stats. If you hit webcast, you'll be able to create a live broadcast of the game showing the events as they're happening. You could simplify the screen up here if you're not tracking uncontested shots by turning them off. To track an uncontested shot, you would just click on the C under the made or missed, click on the spot on the floor, enter the shot the same exact way, and you see that there's an underline underneath the shot knowing that that shot was uncontested. To turn that off, go into preferences, under display, and then track uncontested shots. Just check that and it will turn off. Another great feature with TurboSats that really helps you keep up with the action is putbacks. Simply shoot, choose a missed basket and instead of hitting the rebound by and then another shot by the same player you could hit the P next to the miss or the made if it's a putback miss click on the player and the number that automatically gives them a rebound and a shot if it's a made putback and you notice it automatically puts the shot for you here right behind the basket we could also track every play type that you have click on plays you can put your plays in at the bottom simply click on the play before you enter the shots Okay, I'll enter a couple plays here. Motion, you can put an option off that play. Okay. Zipper. And now if you click on Scout at the top here, it'll show all your play breakdowns for both teams. If you have any questions, you can email us at support at turbostats.com or give us a call. We appreciate you watching. Thank you and have a great season.